pairs of used shoes all from Amazon. I'm Ashton Time for a Breather. Let's get in the video. First up, guys, we have this pair of platformy, platformy high heels here with like a, a whole string, few yards situation. Now, like I said in the title, I did buy all of these from Amazon. Used specifically, though, because I was very curious to see what was the actual condition of these shoes. Because if you shop on Amazon enough, you know you can buy used stuff pretty often for like most items, but it'll usually tell you why or like if there's any sort of defect or something. But for some reason on the shoes, pretty much all these came as like very good rating, but it didn't tell you why. It didn't tell you if there were any like scuff marks or stains or like broken items, like nothing at all. I was like, hey, I can return them at the end of the day if they're that bad. So I'm like, for the discount, let me try these. I love this type of heel, right? This is a platform heel. I'm a 5'2 girly out here. I'm trying to get the length of my legs as much as I can. I don't know if anyone else has this in their mind, but this is like, this like silver with like, it's clear right here. This whole vibe is very like old school, some type of dancer. I love that their legs always look so slinky, so long. And I think it's because they have one, like this clear window and two, they have like this raveling situation, which one, doesn't impede like your view of the foot, but also keeps this on your foot. Most of the time with platforms, like there's a more shoe, right? So they're generally heavier. I will say though, specifically about these ones, these are a pretty light shoe. So maybe not the greatest quality, but honestly, they're cute enough. And as far as like the used part goes, you can see there's like no scuffing at all on these. So they definitely weren't like worn outdoors. I can see that there's some like like film or something on there, which I will be wiping off. But other than that, it kind of just looks like finger marks, which are cleaned with like any all-purpose cleaner. There's no like scuffs or anything. I do see like a little, uh, you, you probably can't see it, let's be real. There's like a little ding in it, but like it's a reflective material, so you don't really notice it. Like who's looking at your foot that closely to where they notice like a little pinprick of a ding on a shoe, so. So let me try these on here so I can one, see if they are comfortable and two, see if they're actually like good quality. Like once you put weight on a shoe, that's when you can really tell if it's gonna like hold the test of time. Guys, look at these shoes. Are you kidding me? First of all, ignore like the horrid tying job here. Shoes like this are most certainly basically like brows or wings liner. Like it is so difficult to get them both even, but these are definitely giving me like less dancer vibes and more just like full on gladiator vibes. I don't understand. Do people really like, you know, do a lot of dancing in these? Like. I can walk around freely just fine, but like if I was to like move to the side too quickly, I would most certainly roll my ankle like for sure. But you cannot see any sort of issues with these at all. I mean, can you? I can't. And honestly, for this price, these are kind of just like a classic like costume heel too, I gotta say. And with the little um, plastic part, my legs look so freaking long. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. So definitely keeping these, probably for a costume for sure. Like if I do like a gladiator thing, a little difficult, but honestly, I can still keep it going all night for like the length this is giving me. I mean, oh my goodness. Up next guys, we have this one. And honestly, this is a six, but this this looks a little bit bigger than the six to me. If you know me at all, you know I only wear like certain shades of pink, like either like a true pink or a true hot pink. Sometimes, like sometimes I'll do like a pastel pink, like a true baby pink, but this is kind of more like a muted, like millennial pink situation. It is like a really like heavy shoe though. And for not being like the highest of platforms, that's really saying something. Cause it's like, there's actual soul to this shoe. that will actually like keep it together for a while though. Now that I'm saying that, I don't know if you guys can, you see like on the inside there, it's like there's a seam of this like basically fake suede. It's like peeling back. So that's not great. Can you see that like striation there? It's kind of like someone like scraped it against something. I will try these on just for S's and gigs, but honestly, I'm already know I'm gonna send this back, even though this does seem like a decently heavy quality shoe, but just not the color pink I'm looking for. 
Guys, I am so disappointed because like I said, these are not the color pink I would ever really keep, but these are so comfortable. There's like a full on like squishy pad all the way throughout the sole of this shoe, which makes this so comfortable. And like, obviously if you take away some of the platform, not the highest of heel, the major chunkiness of the actual heel there, as you can see, makes these so comfortable and easy to walk in. I could walk in these all freaking night are you kidding me oh my goodness you know this is like a normal strap whatever but there's like a little bit of elastic right there to where you can tie the ankle strap tight enough to keep it on you but sometimes with the ankle straps if you tie them too tight when your your legs just like this and you go to like flex it like it digs into your ankle but you can tie them tight enough here because that little bit of elastic is gonna stretch with you to like actually keep it fully on your foot all night, but also not suffocating your ankle either. But these are basically like a fake suede, right? So it does bend with your foot to like allow room for your foot to go. So again, look at how cute, are you kidding me? I mean, come on, these are like such a standard heel these days. So not really my pink, but these are comfortable. I really wish these came in my pink. Oh, it's so disappointing. Guys, what did I do? do you you see, like, talk about like a certain type of person heel. This is definitely like only very specific type of person heel, but I think these, these are like an art piece. Look at that, do you see? It's like not just like a printed on platform, it's like there's a whole divot here. And then like this whole situation, like it comes to a point, it does look like the red parts of this are kind of like just kind of like cheapy stickers almost. Kind of like, they kind of look like the stickers off of a Rubik's Cube that you most certainly just like peeled off and stick back on because you couldn't really figure it out at the end of the day. But the actual brand is called Highest Heel and I have seen this on multiple listings of shoes on Amazon. And I'm like, okay, are you really the highest of heel? First of all, I've seen higher heels, let's be real. But higher creative heels, this is like up there. I do believe this brand is possibly for a certain profession, mostly because they seem quality to where they took comfort into account, right? They're not just like throwing out a cheapy shoe, mostly because, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a whole, just this side is like a huge squish. Like you can really tell they knew that someone was gonna be in these and like really moving around in them but I just thought they were the coolest thing even if it's just for like some decor I mean they're under 20 bucks like how could I just leave these on there I couldn't but love that there's an ankle strap here too not that I'm really gonna be wearing these on these ones I can tell like there's nothing wrong with the tread they definitely haven't been worn it's just like I think it might just be poor construction altogether like the glue lines of like this red part you can definitely see the the actual soul like inside soul of this it looks like it's been scuffed it's like there's kind of like white stuff but honestly like I think at most maybe someone wore these for a photo but that's it guys I am holding on for dear life in these like I'm gonna walk in in heels but this is like a totally different vibe because as you can see like the tiniest little point on the heel is all I've got for support I am like on the struggle bus here so the padding that I mentioned on the soles of these heels. I don't know if it's like specifically for additional comfort or like grippage or anything. Basically just like a mound that goes across the bottom here and you can feel it. And I don't know if it's to prevent maybe like your foot from like sliding forward in the shoe and like keep your foot actually in place. It's a little bit weird, I gotta say. I think it might like chafe the bottom of my foot at some point. After wearing these, I can tell that they've been worn before because like the little elastic here, it's like been stretched out like I think maybe someone's ankle was a little bit too big for them and they like stretched it out a little bit so that's kind of disappointing but I definitely don't think these were really worn maybe for like a photo shoot once and that's it but you know what these actually be perfect for a costume for the queen of hearts I mean like are these not a queen of hearts shoe to stomp all over everyone like for sure definitely a keeper and as far as like the used part goes can barely tell they're used for this price like absolutely will be keeping this. If you love this video, then please show me some love by clicking that subscribe button. Not only does it make sure you get more of the content you enjoy, it does help keep my dream alive. It takes a lot of time and effort and energy to bring you a video every single week. 
So thank you so much for your support. Back to the video. Guys, they just keep on a coming. I mean, look at this shoe. This is like such a Barbie shoe if I've ever seen one. Perfect platform heel, like that PU leather, right? Just like super shiny, but this is a beautiful shoe. I want to take so many pictures in this shoe. As for the condition of these, there's a few like dents here and there, but these definitely weren't worn outside of the house for sure. So again, a few little scuffs here and there to save like such a good amount of money. Like, are you kidding me? Yes, I will pick that up. But let me try these on and live my extra Barbie dreams. Guys, Barbie who? Am I right? Like, look at these shoes. Are these not like the ultimate Barbie shoe? Are you kidding me? Unless you're talking about like maybe a 70s pump and like a fluorescent pink. These are Barbie shoes for sure. Not the most comfortable, mostly because they're like strappy and they're just like fake leather type situation. So it doesn't like really bend around my foot at all. Can't see any scuff, can you? Even like the few little dents that are in these. I mean, like if I'm walking, like how would you ever know? Are you kidding me? You could not. So definitely worth the used price. These are, I think maybe like half size too big for me. Cause if you can see like this part puffing out just a little bit, that's kind of annoying, but it's like definitely like just a little bit too big. Honestly, for like a used price, they're not gonna always come in my exact size. So for like a half size difference, am I willing to put up with like a little bit of like gaping here and there, or just like a little bit of like missing foot there cause they're like a little bit sticking out there. For like the price I got them for, it is most certainly worth keeping them. Uh, again, I ain't gonna be going anywhere in these, despite the fact that, you know, since I got like all these strappies like up my ankle and everything, they ain't going nowhere, right? Decent quality, they're like decently heavy shoes so I I do think they're made from like a brand with like a specific person in mind if you know what I mean so like I will be living my little Barbie dreams this summer for sure up next guys these are like the best deal of the video by far these are Badgley Mishka shoes, which that is more of like a, definitely like a bridal shoe company for sure. Like actual formal wear company, which you know, if you put like wedding on anything, it's immediately like fully marked up. But generally these shoes go for like 80 to like well over a hundred dollars. And I got them for such a good deal. Like I cannot believe it. As for the actual um, wear of this shoe, it does look like someone most certainly wore them. There's like some like little like fibers and stuff on the heel. It's not scuffed or anything. And I can tell by like the holes in the actual uh, band, they're like stretched out a bit. Like someone had this on their foot for sure. You want to be thinking for that price, you are the first foot to be in that shoe. And these ones you can definitely tell they're like been used just like a little bit. But honestly, that does not, I can lice all these down and be right on my merry way, be such a happy person. With that amount of discount for this quality of shoe, I will take it. I am not complaining but it's just like such a very pretty like slightly satiny champagne color definitely something that if this fits I will be wearing out pretty often and the creme de la creme of shoes here are the Badgley Mishkas definitely a beautiful shoe for sure honestly like way comfier than the other ones because these are not platforms like I feel closer to the ground therefore I feel sturdier and look at how beautiful they are just like a perfect champagne color not something that looks super cheap or super cheaply made by any means and that beautiful buckle I mean look at how it shines it is so freaking pretty for like what what I think is like 80% off or something like that are you kidding me absolutely not the material on top of the shoe isn't like finished around the hole so you can tell like the person who had them on before me obviously tried them on a few times and it kind of like started to fray the top material around the holes and as I was was putting that on I noticed it like was freeing more so I think I'd have to maybe just get some like nail glue to like glue around the holes but otherwise I will be keeping I mean come on how can I not how can I not thanks for hanging out with me today guys if you want to see another one of my Amazon shopping hauls then just click here and I'll catch you next time bye